Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 Mega Park. Now, uh, we just have a few episodes uh, to go. In the last episode, I made this uh, really cool sideways coaster. Now, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think this is, one, this is a really fun ride type they uh, added in this game. And what I want to do in this episode is uh, place a ride type, which I don't see many people build very often. But, um, yeah, the ride that I want to place in this episode is one of these flying turns rides. So, um, yeah, basically it's just uh, like a like a bobsleigh coaster, but the trains just consist of one vehicle. And the reason I want to play with this kind of uh, uh, ride is because uh, in RCT3 um, a new track element was added, which they sorely missed in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, which is sloped turns. Now, I don't know if you've ever ridden one of these flying turns rides, but for example in the Netherlands, uh, one of these rides was uh, in the Efteling, uh, of course, uh, it's known as uh, as Bob. And yeah, um, I think these uh, these sloped turns will um, really make it fun to uh, to make a layout for these. Now, um, I have this awkward bit of land here in the middle, um, quite some elevation change. Uh, so I think uh, over here I have enough space to make a station. I might actually make this curve for the monorail a little bit wider, so I have a little bit more space here. But yeah, for sure I should be able to fit the station here. Simply go up with the lift hill, and then I should be uh, able to gently make the coaster uh, go down this hill. And of course these the slope turns, I, I think they will make it uh, a much more fun ride than you normally would be able to do without them. I can give them, uh, yeah, give them some extra speed, make them whip through the turns, and actually go high up in the curves. Uh, I think that'll make for a fun experience. All right. Um, well, the first thing I want to do, I see a lot of guests complain that they're thirsty, so, uh, well, <laughs> a complaint that I have is actually that uh, nobody seems to be heading to this area where the mini golf is. Well, to be fair, it's not a very exciting ride. But uh, I do want more people in this area. So if you look here at the stats, it says that it has had a total of 25 guests uh, while it was built two years ago. So yeah, that's a bit uh, that's a bit sad. Look, also looks like this uh, spare uh, shop also didn't really help. So I'm just going to place a drink stall here and uh, see if that uh, uh, will turn the tides for the mini golf. All right, uh, well, we'll have to see if this actually uh, will help. Uh, probably more guests will be in this area once we start filling up this part of the park with some uh, rides. But for now, it stays a little bit uh, deserted. All right, um, what I will do now is uh, I will make this curve here of the monorail a bit wider, and then I'm going to start on our flying turn to ride. Alright, uh, one addition to RC3 that I really love is these banked S-bands. So basically if you uh, yeah, just have um, a banked section, you can always fill them up with a banked S-band, which basically refers to the, the bank. I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just one of my favorite pieces, especially for a ride like the flying turns. You can just uh, uh, fit them in so easily, it's great. Alright, and uh, here you can actually see me. Uh, put the first uh, curved slope. So basically, it starts here with uh, quite a gentle section. There's some, uh, yeah, just some banked sections where it doesn't pick up too much speed. Then here's the first block break, 
And now for that, I'm just going to make a little bit of a bigger drop. And here the ride can get a little bit more uh, exciting. Okay, I've been playing around with the layout a bit. Now I quite like the way it has become. Now I did have some issues here at the end with this, uh, with these trains not making it through the track after the brake sections. But I actually changed this to a block brake section uh, set to a certain speed, and it will actually uh, push the train forward, uh, so that now it always makes it through this uh, track section. So yeah, that's a uh, that's a functionality of block breaks uh, in this game that's really useful. You can set the speed and uh, it will actually give them a nice boost. Now you can also set these uh, block breaks to an uh, insane speed if you actually want to launch uh, a roller coaster train. But uh, that's not what we're uh, going to be doing in for this uh, coaster. Uh, there's a little bit of clipping here with the uh, lazy river, but I think it's... Uh, minor enough that we can just uh, pretend it's not here. Alright, um, what's left to do for this coaster is to give it a nice queue and also a nice uh, station for the ride. So yeah, just gonna make a simple uh, station building here. And then I'm gonna hook up the queue to the path over here. And of course after that there's still quite a bit of decorating uh, to do here. Although that <laughs> will probably mostly consist of uh, a boulder and a giant fern spam and some palm trees, of course. Oh yeah, still quite a lot of work to do, so uh, let's get on with it. Okay, here's the station for the flying turns ride. Now it 
took quite some effort to actually make this. I'm actually running out of flat land where I can place these. Uh, or where I can build them, save them uh, before I place them down. But uh, I just did it over here and that, uh, that worked quite well. Yeah, this is a simple uh, square building. No, I often tell people not to make square buildings. But I think the different textures on this building and uh, all the different shapes uh, actually do make it uh, look quite nice. These pieces seem to be floating, but uh, I think it's kind of acceptable since it looks like they're also connected to these bars <laughs> over here. So yeah, um, I guess you'll have to use your, your, fan your uh, imagination a bit. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, simply place down some uh, foliage, some rocks, do some a little bit of landscaping, just to make this uh, coaster blend into the landscape a little bit more. It would probably be fun if I could get it to actually go around some uh, rocks, stuff like that. I think that's enough uh, foliage spam around this ride. Also place some of these boulders in the middle of these helixes. I think it will be uh, quite fun when you're riding it and you're going around these uh, around these rocks. I think it looks uh, looks pretty fun. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is uh, quickly add some torches and also make sure that the the ride looks uh, cool at night. Alright, it does look like some more guests are now coming to this uh, crazy golf area now that there's a drink stall, but uh, <laughs> I do not see many more people actually uh, actually ride it. Well, yeah, I guess that's just uh, something I'll have to live with since it's not a very high uh, excitement or intensity ride. Oh yeah, it is uh, what it is. Now, I did place some uh, torches around the flying turns ride. Uh, let's quickly skip to the night time again. Yeah, I think this is uh, definitely an improvement. It is still a bit dark in areas, but I think this uh, should be enough uh, of light. Should be enough uh, light for the for the ride. I think overall the map looks uh, really cool at night. That's uh, I think that's a strong point about this game. This uh, day and uh, night cycle, uh, especially how the game looks at night with all these lights. Uh, I uh, I really like the way this uh, this looks. 
All right, I think we should add another patron to the new area. So let's uh, hire ourselves an entertainer. All right, we don't have too many pumpkin heads yet. No, I'm not really sure how anybody would uh, would fit in this costume <laughs> or uh, even remove their heads, but uh, yeah, I guess that's just uh, game physics. All right, and we'll name him James Sixgun. So yeah, thanks a lot for uh, becoming a patron, uh, James Sixgun. That's uh, really appreciated and it really does help my uh, channel out. All right, um, I think the last thing we should do for this episode is actually take a ride on our new flying turns roller coaster. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching me build and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later. <laughs>